Hey guys, thank you for checking out our videos. My name is Tum, Energy and Martial Arts. Today with me is uh, Yannick, one of our students. I'm going to show you uh, a guillotine submission from both standing, finishing from the guard and finishing from a sprawl position. Going to do a few variations with the forearm, with the thumb grip from the chin strap, uh, different variations. Stay tuned, check out the video. Uus. So, guillotines. Let's get to it. We're going to do a few variations today. I'm going to start off with the high elbow guillotine. So, every time I want to go for a guillotine, if I control her neck, keep your head up, please. I can steer, I can push, I can work, but I don't control her head. So if I want to push her head down, I'm going to go to the skull. So I'm here, I'm going to push down and catch underneath my armpit. Now, my elbow is going to flare in and I don't want you guys to get a deep grip. If I want to go all the way deep, a lot of people think this is a guillotine. Deep and then squeeze. But nothing is happening. So I want to be shallow. I want to get the, her throat, her trachea, I want to get her right beside my thumb. So thumbs up. So, Looks like this, boom, gonna go and catch. Now I'm gonna steer to the other side, you can see what's happening. So my thumb is right behind her neck, like this. Now it's called a high elbow guillotine because I'm gonna grab my hand and cup it. This is gonna be my choke hand and my secondary hand is just gonna help my choke hand to lift. You see my elbow going high, that's why it's called a high elbow on my cellotine. I'm gonna lift. Now I don't wanna squeeze down, I wanna lift up. And I wanna get my hips close. Because if I lift up from here, it's not gonna be so much pressure. I'm gonna get my hips close and I'm gonna get my hips in and just go on the toes and lift. Boom, getting a tap. Other side. So we're, we're scrambling, we're in grappling scenario. I might control, I wanna work for an underhook or two on one or arm drags, uh, whatever. I wanna post her head down, get in, get my hips close, and I'm just gonna lift. Boom. Shoulders rotated back, chest up, hip in, and lift. So this is the first guillotine we're gonna look at. Now, it might be hard to set it up like this, Usually it's a nice counter as uh, to when your opponent tries to shoot for like a double leg. They want to keep their head on the inside, but it, if they get the head on the outside, it's very easy to grab the guillotine. So she's going to enter for a double leg takedown. Boom, immediately I want to be low on my base, get my bite in, high elbow, cut my hand. And as she's pushing forward, I just want to get my hips in and finish here. So one more time. She's shooting, boom, one catch, lift and submit. Don't squeeze down. Lift up, yeah? Just lifting each other up here. Now, it might happen that she's committing so much to the double leg that we end up falling anyways. And if we fall this way, she's gonna end up in my guard or in a half guard or in like a stuck position. I'm gonna maintain my guillotine if possible. So she shoots, boom, I catch the guillotine, and we fall down. If there's space and I manage to cup my hand, I'm gonna do the same finish, but now get my calf on her back. And I'm not gonna squeeze. The same thing applies, I'm just gonna lift my hips. So my heels are pulling down or I can base or both legs, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna lift my hips and get the normal guillotine finish. In a different video, we're gonna look at an arm in guillotine, which is gonna be a complete different mechanic, but today just this one. So one more time, slowly. She's gonna shoot, I managed to catch the guillotine, but I'm too late to sprawl, oh, fall down. I cut my hands and I lift my hip. Look, lifting the hip, getting the submission. That's it. Now, one slight variation. If I'm in time to sprawl, I wanna do a different finish, okay? So, she shoots again, and I wanna stop her force going forward. So she shoots, boom, and I block her shoulder. So let's look at the other side. I'm gonna block her shoulder here as I have my guillotine grip, boom. I wanna collect my wrist, so hand to the shoulder, Hand on the wrist, head on the, on, uh, on the underside of my armpit. And I'm gonna sprawl, I'm gonna go down, I'm just gonna sprawl. And now I don't need my hip to finish. Look, normally I wanna get my hip close, but if we're in this scenario and I want to get my hip close, she's just gonna grab my legs and she's gonna sweep me over. So for this finish, I don't need my hips. So I'm gonna post, I'm gonna go underneath and grab my own wrist, and I'm gonna sprawl my legs back or just lean forward as she's trying to get my, catch my legs. I just keep her forward, look. And now I elevate my wrist, boom, I get the tap. So this motion. So we're here, I got the guillotine, I sprawled. She wants to get the, head, the legs, I'm just pushing forward, lifting, getting a slight variation on the guillotine. Oh, this last one, 
It's called a 10 finger guillotine. So I get a chin strap from wrestling, which means my thumb is underneath her chin, chin strap here. I'm gonna cut my second hand in, and I'm just gonna lift my thumbs right on her throat, cupping and making the same movement with my hip as with the first guillotine we did. Boom, lift there. It's a very tight, very nasty guillotine. So, let get a bit closer. I'm gonna get a chin strap all this way. Boom, my thumb is right under her chin. I'm gonna cup my hand, two thumbs in. I'm just gonna lift, rotate like a cup and bring my hips close. Boom. One, two, lift and cup. That's it. So we're working, we're scrambling, I'm gonna cup, get a chin strap, finish my two hands, lift up, get a very quick, very tight guillotine. That's it. Oos. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we helped a bit explaining some nice details from the technique or the video we showed today. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions whatsoever, something you want to see in the future. Uh, discuss one of the techniques, uh, some of your variations. We're super excited if you share your thoughts with us. Now please guys, remember to subscribe to the channel and put on notifications. We're gonna drop new videos, trying to get new videos to you every week or once, two weeks. Put on those notifications so you get an email, you get a note when there's a new video available so you can start watching it, drilling it with your partners. Besides that guys, we're super excited that we get to share this with you. It takes a lot of time and effort. So for that reason, we created a Patreon account. The link will be down in the description below. Anything you can miss to support the channel, support our BGJ, support grappling would be much, much appreciated. Final note, we are wearing some very nice gear, uh, like this one or anything shown in the videos, black and white, with colors, with nice designs. That's all of our own gear, called Energia Fightwear. If you want to support us in a different way, hook me up, send me a message, order one of the rash guards, shorts, kimonos, geese, bags, belts, patches, streetwear, anything we have, to not only support the channel, support the group, but also represent, show off some nice gear on the mat. Thank you so much, see you in the next video on the mat. Oh,